for starters, or should I say for canapes? How about this? Canapé, anybody? She's not offering them out um, terribly overtly, is she? Um, and this one, definitely not. You definitely don't want to, you wouldn't get a canapé from her. She's, um, she was sacked as a waitress, this one. Um, but of course, if you have had a good look, let's go back to this one. Um, these, in fact, are not canapes that you would particularly want to pick up. In fact, let's hope that they're not canapes at all uh, because they are eyes. Eyes on a plate. Mm. So, offering up your eyes on a plate. So, that's a, that's a, that's a, this is a close-up of, um, of this image. And this is a close-up. So, then we've got this one. There's a close-up of this one. I love those eyes. Look at them, like they kind of look like little snails or something, little sleepy eyes, just looking a little bit slyly to the side. Um, okay, so what are these women doing? Uh, offering up their eyes, not as canapes, but uh, just offering them up. Well, they, um, they, this, this lady is Saint Lucy. And Saint Lucy was a martyr. Um, so all the way back in the, the fourth century. And the story of St. Lucy is that she, she was uh, from a, a very wealthy family, um, but a, a pagan family, so this is the fourth century, nothing particularly unusual about that. Um, and she um, was, her mum had arranged a marriage. So her father had died, her mum, who was pagan, arranged a marriage, Lucy had become a Christian and she decided that she absolutely didn't want to marry anybody. Um, she was going to remain chaste and devote her life to God. Uh, her mum wasn't, wasn't having it. Um, and she uh, kept trying to force Lucy to get married. Uh, Lucy kept saying no. Eventually she was denounced to the Roman governor who then sort of had her dragged up before him. Um, and this Roman governor said, you know, right, you're gonna marry this fellow, uh, whether you like it or not. And she said, uh, no, I'm not, I don't like it, I'm not gonna marry him. And so the Roman governor thought, well, I am going to teach you a lesson, young Lucy, you're not going to um, betray me, not betray me. Uh, you're not going to go against my wishes, there's a word, I can't think of it. Um, and and so he ordered the guards to take Lucy off to uh, work in a brothel. Nice. Um, I don't know what her husband to be thought about this or her suitor thought about this. Anyway, um, but but the these guards they went to to pick up Lucy to take her to this brothel. But the Holy Spirit weighed her body down, and her body became so heavy that they couldn't lift her. Either that or she'd spent several months in lockdown. Um, so then they thought, right, okay, if she can't go to a brothel, we're going to teach this young lady a proper good lesson. Um, in fact, we're going to burn her alive. So they surrounded her with logs and tried to set the logs on fire. But again, the Holy Spirit intervened, fantastic, um, and the logs wouldn't burn. Uh, so then St. Lucy got stabbed in the neck. Nice, and I think she did die. Die did die. Did die from uh, <laughs> stab me in the neck. She did die from being stabbed in the neck. Hmm. So this isn't from the Bible. This story. Um, this is ooh, afterwards. Um, so Saint Lucy was a saint, and she was martyred, and she was from was from the fourth century. All of these stories are from afterwards. But I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, well, okay. So where did the eyes come into the equation? Um, well, the eyes come into the equation a little bit later still from, guess where? The fabulous golden legend, where else? And in the golden legend, there's an extra part of the story um, that goes along the lines of the governors were so, uh, or the, the, the guards were so cross with Lucy that they decided to poke her eyes out. Um, there's another version of the tale that, um, that said that, in fact, Lucy poked her own eyes out because she, um, she wanted to make herself unattractive to her suitor, a particularly persistent suitor. Um, 
I think that probably would have done the trick. I'm not entirely sure whether it's more about the fact that he's got he's got somebody um, with no eyes or the fact that she decided to poke her own eyes out. Um, pretty pretty bonkers, right? Um, but anyway, when Lucy was buried, so she was martyred when she was buried, you'll be very, very pleased to hear that in fact uh, she was buried with her eyes intact. So that's the story of St. Lucy. So this, um, this image that you can see here is, um, it dates from 1521 and this is by an artist called Giovanni Beccafumi. Beccafumi. Um, who worked, he was a Sienese artist, he worked quite a lot um, or for a long period of time uh, on the mosaics on the floor in Siena Cathedral. So if you've been to Siena, fantastic mosaics on, mosaics on the floor um, that actually aren't always um, on show to the public because they're quite obviously quite delicate. Um, so that's um, Becca Fumi, so you might not have heard of him, but uh, if you've been to Siena or if you go to Siena, um, were able to travel then you might see that. Um, the other image of St Lucy, this is Carlo Crivelli. Um, uh, so this is a bit earlier than the, the other one, so this dates to about 1476, she says about 1476, I can't give you the month I'm afraid. Um, Carlo Crivelli, really distinctive artist, or quite linear and he used to use um, semi-precious stones or sort of gemstones and things in his in his works um quite quite fantastic he was a bit of a character um he spent quite some time in venice and then i think he actually got thrown out of venice which is a bit of a feat to be honest um because venice was quite a, a liberal society um but he also spent six months in prison for having an affair with a married woman naughty carlo crivelli um there we go. And you know what? A little known fact about St. Lucy is that she was great friends with E.T. And I don't know whether you can see that, but when I looked at this image, this is just a, a very common, common, common devotional image. Um, but just look at the, the little, um, look, just in the bottom of the image now where the plate is. To me, it just looks like a pair of eyes. Just poking out like a, with a sort of blanket over the head a bit like this um do you see what I mean <laughs> so, <laughs> I think maybe I'm losing it she takes ET for a walk on a quite a regular basis St Lucy um okay shall we move on shall we move on to the next weird and wonderful image that I've found for you how about this one Whoa! This is from an altarpiece, um, and uh, and so here, yeah. Well, I mean, what is going on? This rocket man flying through the air. People go, oh my god, run away from the rocket man! What's going on? Um, somebody climbing out of a, a hole in a wall or doing cobra pose. If they're doing cobra pose, it's a very very bad cobra pose. And chest out more and shoulders down and yeah back stretched um it's it it's a very funny image if you've no idea what's going on in this in, in this uh, in this picture um in fact got poor connection okay so in fact this is um blessed ranieri so the rocket man isn't in fact a rocket man this is a saint called the blessed ranieri um you can see if you look it's a, a halo over his head um, and in this image the blessed Ranieri is dead which is why he can fly because obviously you can definitely fly like a rocket through the air when you're dead. Um, he in fact was known for and again this is apocryphal this isn't in fact from the golden legend though this is the this is the, the one that got away um, but blessed Ranieri was um, it was able to perform miracles posthumously and one of the miracles that he performed was at the behest of a bunch of prisoners who prayed to him to release them um, and so he did and so this is what's going on here ba basically blessed Ranieri is releasing a load of prisoners I'm pausing for you but I've paused 
stop talking. Okay, so basically Blessed Ranieri is releasing a load of prisoners from a Florentine jail because they have prayed to him to be released. Blessed Ranieri, the anarchist. Um, in fact, these prisoners are in a debtor prison, um, debtor's prison. So this prison has been identified as, um, as a debtor's prison, obviously from all its marvellously distinguishing features. <laughs> <laughs> the blank grey wall, the no windows, the one tiny door, you know, clearly this is the uh, the stinch, I think it was called, in, in Florence. Um, and so this image is all about um, sort of like almost like the, the triumph of the poor. It's, um, it's a comment against usury because most of the people that would have been in that prison um, would have um, had to borrow money from usurers. And so this is um, this is blessed Ranieri getting his own back on uh, on usury vice of usury um, but it does it does look like quite an odd image when you don't know what's going on especially the fact that he's I, 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 he's sort of you know where are his feet and what's what's he doing kind of blasting off and then hovering around it's quite it's quite extraordinary there we go this is by Sassetta um, so this is it dates to um, 1437, 1444, it's from an altarpiece, the uh, Borgo San Sepulchro altarpiece, um, which is in in bits, many altarpieces um, were taken apart and, and individual panels were, were, were sold off. Uh, but uh, there's a few of the panels, not this one, a few of the panels in the National Gallery. Okay, so just to finish, as a flourish to finish, um, here we go. This is this. Is, I'm including this image because it just made me laugh when I saw this. It made me giggle. Um, this is from late the late 13th century. Um, it's a a psalter. It's from Switzerland, um, and the image shows a a nun. So it was probably made for a Benedictine Benedictine no Dominican Dominican I think. Um, uh, uh, convent and uh, so this shows a nun taking a meal to a bedridden leper so this is what you look like covered in spots when you're a leper so here's the rib cage not much rib cage on show just like I didn't have any rib cage on show um, you're gonna go and google Madame Matessier now aren't you Madame Matessier versus Ridley London it's called um, uh, and but it made me giggle because so this nun is very kindly taking this leper a meal but look i mean as far as i can see she's just taking him raw fish so he's like she's like hi i've bought you dinner and he's going yeah thanks very much how am i supposed to eat that that's gonna stink in about three hours time um, so it just it just tickled my fancy that one a little bit um, a little bit frivolous but it tickled my fancy. There we go. Which is the weirdest? Which is the weirdest? The uh, the leper and the and the fish, the rocket man saint, or Saint Lucy with her eyes on a plate. <laughs> nice. I'll put two of them up on stories later today. Okay, turning on commenting. I'm taking off pictures. Um, there we go. I'm back. I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, I'm gonna wait and see whether anyone's got any, anyone's got any comments. Oh, thank you, Melville. I love the last one in St. Lucy. What was the matter with the flying saint? What's the matter with the flying saint? Mark, I'm so happy that you joined today. I used to work with Mark and we all had some, we all had a, um, a Zoom meeting, um, oh, I don't know, a few days ago. A bunch of us that probably haven't spoken for about 10 years. I think some people had, but I, I certainly hadn't. Um, he loved ET. I know. It was my, okay, fair enough. I think, um, yeah, I do think that that just kind of looked a bit like E.T. Because when I saw that image, first of all, the devotional image, I was like, oh, it just looks like a little pair of eyes poking out. And then I thought that reminds me of something. Oh, I think it reminds me of E.T. 
the way my mind is working. What can I tell you? Um, <laughs> prefer the more extreme ones, but these were great as well. What? So uh, eyes on a plate weren't extreme. Okay, Ricky, I've got your number. <laughs> I'll try and include something. What can I think of? Try and include something um, extreme next Thursday for you. So what have I got coming up? Um, on Saturday, I'm going to be posting the first of a, a new look pepped up by paintings. Um, maybe, I don't well, I'll see what you think. Um, I know what I think. <laughs> Um, and then on Monday we'll do another 11s is at 11 obviously um, I haven't decided thanks all the same you're very welcome Ricky <laughs> rocket saint to the rescue <laughs> I think he's flying around with ET rocket saint and ET whoa um, yes on Monday I don't know what I'm doing yet but um, but I'm sure we'll come up with something um, but in the meantime have a lovely weekend enjoy the sunshine obviously you know, be safe, all that. Um, but uh, yes, have a great day, everybody. I will, St. Elton, yes. <laughs> Rocket Man is St. Elton. <laughs> I'll see you all soon. Thanks for joining me. <laughs> Bye.